Alright, what's up guys and for today's video we'll be looking into the Grand Mafia Season 4 and it's the step-by-step -step map not the bloody treaty map basically the I bring you through the updates when you go to Season 4 and step-by-step -step, this map is really very interesting as you can see there are about I think 6 different factions or so that, that are competing against the best the top faction or the top uh, group the top group that's right and in total there are six groups competing and it's very very interesting because previously we have eight cities but these six different groups uh, consist of quite a number of different cities let's go through some of the differences first and the first difference is that for this uh you can see the layout is very different the initial season one two and three i'm not very sure if it's an update but for season four i see it as it's a linear progression where you see the task by just clicking on the arrows the uh, previous one is basically like a scroll something like this like a scroll down and uh, for season four i feel like uh, the difference is that for these um, events where you gain more of these uh, state honor tokens um, every cycle it does a different it has a different task rotating every week and for this week is the usual as uh, similar as season 3 where you just complete uh, whatever influence you have but the next week subsequent week there will be the solo mission and the faction rewards basically um if i remember correctly the solo mission there's the points that you have to earn is lower but the rewards you earn is also lower as well and there's another there's two tabs here basically one is in the individual reward and the second one is the group reward and uh, basically every week there will be a shuffle of the task it means that one week or rather one cycle of the task you have to spend more items killing kingpins or whatsoever because the point requirements is higher but there's no faction rewards then the second one there's a lower individual requirements to achieve the points but there are faction your faction has to hit a certain level of points in order to claim your reward so that's it for this uh, task Second, I want to talk about is the group warfare and this is similar to the battle of Arcada previously but I think if I remember correctly that is only between two cities. This group warfare is between all of the six cities. So everybody starts at a different area and the map is a lot bigger. And the yeah, over here is at the top here we can see Monument Basin Airport give you the most points and the occupation for occupation points is lower than the battle of Arcadia I think they want more people to achieve the killing points and the killing points you can really get a lot a lot of points as compared to the battle of Arcadia uh, previously in season 3 and the more people or the more troops you kill the better you or the more points that you get and of course same as before uh, any troops that is dead or wounded it will be healed at the end of the battle so do not worry about um, having your troops dead and the next one we're going to talk about are the magic crystals if you were to see casino you can see these like two different coins the loyalty silver coin and the glory gold coin this is because if you can see at your workshop there's basically a new tab called the family crystal and this gives uh, basically when you get uh, 50 coins or whatsoever coins you can craft some form of crystal and it can give you uh, basically buffs for your crew members and of course you cannot just unlock everything if you can see here this uh, fourth uh, box over here the uh, let me get back let's go the armory this fourth box is the family crystal and you have to research it to unlock this uh, corresponding crystal slot as i will show you at my investment page 
Yeah, you can see a family crystal. Basically, this unlocks when you reach season four, and yes, you have to research everything to unlock the respective uh, inventory or your equipment slots to put all these jewels inside or crystals. Of course, the biggest thing is that instead of constructing these faction towers, this whole map is uh, this whole map consists of many different buildings to that you have to capture. As you can see over here, these are uh, it's a, an example of the buildings that you capture. So there's no building of the faction towers, but you have to uh, capture the these different sort of like shadow market or state houses. Um, the higher the level of houses uh, or the buildings, the higher it is to acquire them. And basically, there's the front gate which you have to destroy in order to attack the market. So whichever opposing faction, let's say you are trying to take over a building, uh, opposing enemy's building, you have to take the front gate down first and occupy the front gate before you can demolish this uh, middle building. And of course, you have to kill off a lot of these uh, level 5 uh, mob mafia so. Oh, the zooming is a little bit of an issue here. Oh well, basically these are mafia so. Even though it's level 5, but it's a lot easier to take them down. Uh, don't need to worry about it, but you want to kill them because as you can see each mafia so reduces your destruction or demolishing speed by 20% so you really want to get rid of 4 of them it's uh, not good it means 4 of them is like reduces by eight, up to 80% which makes it much more difficult for you to capture the building yeah so other than that uh, the structure is quite similar we have the level 1 zone the level 2 zone 3 and 4 which is obviously all the level 7 resources uh, respectively and i think the bad part about this is that the level 1 zone is too big so that so basically the higher level zones is smaller means lesser resources to share amongst the people yeah, I think um, what I've covered is most of it and uh, maybe one thing about Season 4 is that all these checkpoints can be captured very early in the game. Uh, usually for other seasons, you have to wait till late game when uh, then they will unlock these uh, checkpoints. But for Season 4, you can easily invade other cities' territory and get a lot of these uh, killing points when the massacre event starts as per similar to season 1 to 3 oh yes i also forgot to mention that for season 4 and above there are these things called the chaos coin that you can obtain if you accomplish some of the tasks when the governor's war ends or is at the display period yeah so that you can see over there and for season 4 as well you can also teleport to or you can move your turf to an enemy's turf territory uh, during the massacre event and this is very dangerous as you cannot really hide within your faction territory and have um, troops march from a distance away yeah so it's very dangerous during this killing event and you should uh, put up some uh, protective turf effects Alright, I think that is it for this video and if you have any questions or any comments relating to how Season 4 works, you can write down in the comment section. Alright, I'll see you guys next time and I hope you enjoy playing The Grand Mafia.